Rade, Rade. Loving hugs to all of you and my obeisances. So, welcome to the Chaitanya Charit Amrita sharing by the mercy of our beloved Guru Dev. So, what we heard the last time was even a foolish child can understand Vachendanandana by the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. We heard about the plans of Krishna to appear. Why? Because of Radha's love for him. He wants to feel it and he wants to see his own sweetness through Radharani's eyes. Then we heard about how we, the foolish children, can understand him or serve Radha. We heard about Savalakshmi, the representation of Krishna's opulences, what means that Radharani is giving him his opulences to full extent. We heard about Savakanti, that she is fulfilling all his desires, even he doesn't know he has. We heard about the description of Radha's love and that she has 10 million times bigger taste than Krishna himself. And we heard about Krishna's wish to taste this love through Radha's mood. And Last time, we heard about the love letter from Krishna to Radharani, how he was praising her unlimitedly. And thus ended Adilila chapter 4. So today, I want to go in a shortcut, in a small shortcut about the opulence of love in the form of Anangamandri or Nitai. Because the next chapter, Adilila chapter 5, Gurudev said, is about opulences. So we will just concentrate on the opulence of love and make a shortcut because I thought we cannot overjump the glories of Nitai. So please forgive me, Gurudev. I will just shortly dive in. And then after that, we will hear about Ramananda Roy and the description about his personality through one lila. So Adi Lila. Chapter 5 Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gora Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gora Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gaura Bhakta Vrinda So Shri Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami is describing the glories of Nityananda in five verses, actually. So I thought 
it wouldn't be nice to just over jump because we know for us is this form of Nityananda the easiest connection in this world because Nityananda has so many forms and they actually represent for me in my vision not opulence in the material sense but opulence of the love of Radharani because he is actually bringing us or connecting us with the unlimited love, Brahma, of Radha. We all know that Radharani is sending her sister to places where she cannot go. So Ananga Manjari is coming also for us, for our uh, development to take care of the jivas. Some echo. Gurudev, you're echoing through the whole existence. <laughs> So Gurudev is a representation of Nityananda also. So that's why I thought, let's see how merciful Radha is, because she is actually coming from Antaranga Shakti. She is actually, like Param Gurudev said, she becomes Vahiranga Shakti. So, in this way, actually, it's very important for us also. Not only that her love is taking care of Krishna wherever he is, in which form ever, but also she is taking care of the jivas in that merciful form. And therefore, so many innumerable forms are there. And I think this is amazing. This is the opulence of mercy, actually, the opulence of love, and no material opulence. So, text 5, it is said, Eka Iswaru Bhadanhe Bina Matra Kai Atya Kaya Vyuha Krishna Lilara Sahoy. They are both one and the same identity. They differ only in form. He is the first bodily expansion of Krishna and he assists in Lord Krishna's transcendental pastimes. So that's one side. We all know that Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami is expert in hiding. hiding the other side, but actually is always showing with the finger on this side. Because we will see later that he is doing this. He is telling here about Krishna and the first expansion of Krishna, but what does this mean on the other side? If we see from Radha and the first expansion of Radha, then we see Ananga Mandri. So we can see that Ananga Mandri is coming and assisting in all transcendental pastimes. And this she's just doing out of her deep, endless love. Say Krishna. Navat Vipa Sri Chaitanya Chandra Se Balarama Sangha Sri Nityananda. The original Lord appeared in Navat Vipa as Lord Chaitanya, and Balaram appeared with him as Lord Nitya Ananda. And now there comes a hint. 
शंकर शाना हरना तोय शाही गाबोदा शाही चा पायोब पायोब दी शाए शेष चा यश यंश कला सनित्य नंदक्या रामा सरनम ममास्तु मै श्री चनन्नी मै श्री नित्यानंद राम द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ माय कांस्टेंट रिमेम्बरेंस Shankarshana, Sheshanaga, and the Vishnu who lie on the Karana Ocean, Gaba Ocean, and Ocean of Milk, are his plenary portions and the portions of his plenary portions. So he is not saying just Nityananda. He is addressing here Nityananda Ram. Now you may understand Balaram. But you also may understand Ram in another way. Ra, Ma. Nityananda is always in Raman, always deep in this exchange. What he is bringing, except the deep. Transcendental loving exchange of Radha and Mohan to us. What else he is bringing to us? And in the same time, he is taking care of all our needs in different forms. That's why I like to say, Nitai is like our. Wie sagt man zu den Mutter? Amme. Uh, when the mother cannot come self herself, she's sending one woman. What is the name of this in English? Nurse, huh? I guess nurse or something like that. A nanny maybe. Hmm? A nanny maybe. Nanny, yes. Nanny, that's the that's the point. Nanny. So actually, it's like a nanny, yes, taking care of us and same time feeding us with the love of Radha. So all I can see in these different forms is the love is expanding in unlimited forms and taking care of us and bring us to back to the love to Mama. This is all I can see here in all this description. So please forgive me. This is just my limited view, but I cannot see any material opulence here. I just see the opulence of love. So this was the shortcut. So now we will change into Antya Lila Chapter Five. More taste will come. Antya Lila Chapter Five. How Pradyumna Mishra received instructions from. Ramananda Roy. The following summary of the fifth chapter is given by Shila Bhaktivinoda Thakur in his Amrita Pravaha Bhashya. Pradhumna Mishra, a resident of Sri Hatta, came to see Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to hear from him about Lord Krishna. And his pastimes. The Lord, however, sent him to Shrila Ramananda Roy. Shrila Ramananda Roy was draining the Devadasi dancing girls in the temple, and when Pradyumna Mishra heard about this, he returned to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 
The Lord, however, elaborately described the character of Srila Ramananda Roy. Then, Pradyumna Mishra went to see Ramananda Roy again to hear about the transcendental truth from him. Text 1 Vaigunya Kita Kalita Vaishunya Vrana Pitita Danyarnave Nimagno Hang Chaitanya Vajam Ashraye I am infected by germs of material activity and suffering from boils due to envy. Therefore, falling in an ocean of humility, I take shelter of the great physician Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. <coughs> Jaya Jaya Shachi Sutta Sri Krishna Chaitanya Jaya Jaya Kripa Moya Nityananda Danya All glories to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the son of Mother Sachi. All glories to Sri Nityananda Prabhu. Indeed, he is the most Glorious and merciful. Text 3 Jai Advaita Kripa Sindhu Jaya Bhaktagan Jaya Swarup Gadadha Rupa Sanatan. I offer my respectful obeisances unto Advaita Prabhu, the ocean of mercy and to all the devotees, such as Swarup Damodha Goswami, Gadata Pandit, Sri Rupa Goswami, and Sanatan Goswami. Ekadina Pradumna Mishra Prabhura Charane Dantavat Kari Kichu Kari Nivedhane One day, Pradyumna Mishra came to see Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, offering his respect and inquiring from him with great submission. Shuna Prabhu Muni Dina Ke Hasta Adhama Kona Bhakye Panojan Domara Dhula Vacharana My Lord, he said, kindly hear me. I am a cripple-minded householder, the most fallen of men. But somehow, by my good fortune, I have received the shelter of your lotus feet, which are rarely to be seen. Krishna kata suni bhare mora icha hoy, Krishna kata kaha more hana sadoy. I wish to hear topics concerning Lord Krishna constantly. Please be merciful unto me and kindly tell me something about Krishna. Prabhu Kahena Krishna Kata Ami Nahi Jani Sabe Ramananda Jane Tandra Mukeshuni. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu replied, I do not know about topics concerning Lord Krishna. I think that only Ramananda Roy knows, for I hear these topics from him. Bhakye Tomara Krishna Kata Shunite Hoiman Ramananda Pasha Yai Karaha Shravan. It is your good fortune that you are inclined to hear topics regarding Krishna. 
the best course for you would be to go to Ramananda Roy and hear these topics from him. Text number nine. Krishna Kataya Ruchi Tomara Bhada Bhakyavan Yara Krishna Kataya Ruchi Se Bhakyavan. I see that you have acquired a taste for hearing talks regarding Krishna. Therefore, you are extremely fortunate. Not only you, but anyone who has awakened such a taste is considered most fortunate. Dharma Svanushtita Pungshang Vishvakshena Katashuya Not Padayat Yadiratim Shrama Eva Hikevalam. A person who properly performs his regulative duties according to Vana and Ashram, but does not develop his dormant attachment for Krishna or awaken his taste to hear and chant about Krishna is certainly laboring fruitlessly. This is a, go a quote from Srimad Bhagavatam. One, two, eight. Tabe Pradyumna Mishra Gela Ramanandera Stane Rayera Seva Katanre Vashaila Asane Pradyumna Mishra, being thus advised by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, went to the home of Ramananda Roy. There, the servant of Ramananda Roy gave him a proper place to sit down. Darshana na pana mishra seva ke puchila, rayera vridhanta seva ka kahite lagila. Unable to see Ramananda Roy immediately, Pradunna Mishra inquired from the servant, who then gave a description of Sri Ramananda Roy. Dui Deva Kanya Hai Paramasundari Nityagite Sanipuna Vayase Kishori. There are two dancing girls who are extremely beautiful. They are very youthful and they are expert in dancing and Singing. Se dunhe lana roy niprita udyane nicha nataka gitera shikaya natane. Srila Ramananda Roy has taken these two girls to a solitary place in his garden. There he is teaching and directing them to dance according to the songs he has composed for his drama. Tumi ihan vasi raha kshaneke asi bhena tape ye akya deha se kari bhena. Please sit here and wait for a few moments. As soon as he comes, he will execute whatever order you give him. Tabe Prachumna Mishra Tahan Rahila Vashiya Ramananda Nipritte Se Dujana Lana 
While Pradumna Mishra remained seated there, Ramananda Roy took the two girls to a solitary place. Swahaste Karena Tara Abhyanga Margana Swahaste Karana Snana Katra Samarjana with his own hand. Sri Ramananda Roy massaged their bodies with oil and bathed them with water. Indeed, Ramananda Roy cleansed their entire bodies with his own hand. Swahaste Parana Vastra Sarvanga Mandhana Tabu Nivikara Roy Ramananda Ramana Although he dressed the two young girls and decorated their bodies with his own hand, he remained unchanged. Such is the mind of Srila Ramananda Roy. Kasta Pasana Sparshe Hoi Yache Bhav Tarunu Sparshe Ramanandera Deutsche Swabhav While touching the young girls, he was like a person touching wood or stone, for his body and mind were unaffected. Sevya Bucci Aru Pia Karena Sevana Svabhavika Dashi Bhava Karena Arupana Srila Ramananda Roy used to act in that way because he thought of himself in his original position of a maid servant of the gopis. Thus, although externally he appeared to be a man, internally, in his original spiritual position, he considered himself a maid servant and considered the two girls as gopis. Purport by Srila Prabhupada Kijai. Srila Bhaktivinotaku writes in his Amrita Bravahabhasya, Srila Ramananda Roy composed a drama named Jagannat uh, Vallabha Nataka. And he engaged two young girls who were professional dancers and singers to demonstrate the idea geology of the drama. Such girls who are called Devadasis are still employed in the temple of Jagannath, where they are called Maharis. Sri Ramananda Roy engaged two such girls and because they were meant to play the part of gopis, he taught them how to awaken thoughts like those of the gopis. Because the gopis are worshipable personalities, Ramananda Roy, who considered the two girls gopis and himself the maidservant, engaged in their service by massaging their bodies with oil to cleanse them completely. Because Ramananda Roy always placed himself in the position of a maid servant of the gopis, his rehearsal with the girls was actually on the spiritual platform. Text 21 Mahaprabhura Bhaktaganera Durgama Mahima Tahe 
Ramanandera Bhava Bhakti Prema Sima. The greatness of the devotees of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is exceedingly difficult to understand. Sri Ramananda Roy is unique among them all, for he showed how one can extend his ecstatic love to the extreme limit. Tape se dui jane nitya shikhaila, itera guta arta apinai karaila. Ramananda Roy directed the two girls how to dance and express the deep meanings of his songs through dramatic performances. Sanjari Sattvika Sthai Bhavera Lakshana Mukhinitre Abhinay Kari Prakatana. He taught them how to express the symptoms of continuous, natural, and transi transitional ecstasies with the movements of their faces, their eyes, and other parts of their bodies. Bhava Prakatana Lashya Roy Yeshikoi Jagana Tera Age Dunhe Prakat Dekoi through the feminine poses and dances, they were taught by Ramananda Roy. The two girls precisely exhibited all these expressions of ecstasy before Lord Jagannath. Tape se dui jane prasat. Kaoyaila Nipritte Dunhari Nichagari Pataila. Then Ramananda Roy fed the two girls sumptuous prasad and sent them to their homes unexposed. Pratidina Roy Aiche Karaya Sadhana. Konjane Kshutra Jiva Kanhatan Ramana. Every day he trained the two Devadasis how to dance. Who among the small living entities, their minds always absorbed in material sense gratification, could understand the mentality of Sri. Ramananda Roy. Mishrera Arganana Rai Seva Kakaila Sikra Ramananda Tabe Sabate Oila. When the servant informed Ramananda Roy of Prajumna Mishra's arrival, Ramananda Roy immediately went to the assembly room. He offered his obeisances to Prajumna Mishra with all respect and then with great humility spoke as follows. Bahukshana Aila more kehana kahila, tomara charane mora aparada haila. Sir, you came here a long time ago, but no one informed me, therefore I have certainly become an offender at your lotus feet. My entire home has been purified by your arrival. Kindly order me, what can I do for you? I am your servant. Pradumna Mishra replied, I came simply to see you. Now I have purified myself by seeing your honor. 
because Pragumna Mishra saw that it was late, he did not say anything else to Ramananda Roy. Instead, he took leave of him and returned to his own home. The next day, when Pradumna Mishra arrived in the presence of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the Lord inquired, Have you heard talks about Krishna from Sri Ramananda Roy? Tabe Mishra Ramanandera Vrittanta Kahila Shuni Mahaprabhu Tabe Kahite Lagila Pradumna Mishra thereupon described the activities of Sri Ramananda Roy. After hearing about his activities, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu began to speak. Amita Sanyasi Apanare Virakta Karimani Darshana Rahu Dure Prakritira Nama Yati Shuni Tapahin Vikara Poi Moratanuman Prakriti Darshani Stira Hoi Konjan I am a sannyasi, he said, and I certainly consider myself renounced, but not to speak of seeing woman. If I even hear the name of a woman, I feel changes in my mind and body. Therefore, who could remain unmoved by the sight of a woman? It is very difficult. Ramananda Rayera Katashuna Sarvajana Kahi para katanahe yaha archaya katana. Everyone, please hear these topics about Ramananda Roy. Although they are so wonderful and uncommon that they should not be spoken. Eke deva dasi ara sundari taruni. Tara Saba Anga Seva Karina Apani. The two professional dancing girls are beautiful and youthful, yet Sri Ramananda Roy personally massages oil upon their bodies. Snanadi Karoi Paraya Vasa Vibhushana Guya Angera Hoi Taha Darshana Sparsana. He personally bathes and dresses them and decorates them with ornaments. In this way, he naturally sees and touches the private parts of their bodies. Tabu Nirvikara Roy Ramananda Ramana Nana Bhavodkara Tare Karaya Shikshana. Nevertheless, the mind of Sri Ramananda Roy never changes, although he teaches the girls how to physically express all the transformations of ecstasy. Nirvi Kara Dehaman. Kashta Pashan Sama Ascharya Taruni Sparsha Nirvikara Mana. His mind is as steady as wood or stone. Indeed, it is wonderful that even when he touches such young girls, his mind never changes. Ekaramanandera hoi e adhikara tate jani aprikta deha tanhara. The authority for such acts 
is the prerogative, uh, the prerogative of Ramananda Roy alone. For I can understand that his body is not material, but has been completely transformed into a spiritual entity. Tanharama nera bhav denha jane matra, taha jani bhare aratvitiya nahi patra. He alone and no one else can understand the position of his mind. Kintu Shastra Trishche Eka Kari Anumana Sri Bhagavat Shastra Tahate Pramana. But I can make a guess in terms of directions from the Shastra. Srimad Bhagavatam, the Vedic scripture, gives the direct evidence in this matter. Vracha vatu sange krishnera rasati vilas, yecha nakahe shune kariya vishvas. Ridroga kama tanratatkale hoikshai, tina guna kshopranahe mahitira hoi. When one hears or describes with great faith, the pastimes of Lord Krishna, such as his rasa dance with the gopis, the disease of lusty desires in his heart, and the agitation caused by the three modes of material nature are immediately nullified, and he becomes sober and silent. Purport of Srila Prabhupada. Srila Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Thakur comments in this connection, any person seriously inclined to hear about the pastimes of Krishna's rasa dance as mentioned in Srimad Bhagavatam with great faith and a transcendental spiritually inspired mind is immediately freed from the natural lusty desires found within the heart of a materialistic man. When a pure Vaishnava speaks on Srimad Bhagavat and another pure Vaishnava hears Srimad Bhagavat from such a realized soul. Both of them live in the transcendental world, where the contamination of the modes of material nature can not touch them. Freed from the contamination of the modes of nature, the speaker and hearer are fixed in a transcendental mentality, knowing that their position on the transcendental platform is to serve the Supreme Lord. Text 47 Uchvala madura brema bhakti se pai Anande Krishna madurye vihare sadai Tasting the transcendental, effulgent, sweetly ecstatic love of Krishna, such a person can enjoy life 24 hours a day in the transcendental bliss of the sweetness of Krishna's pastimes. Mm -hmm. 
So if we are in Swarup 24 7, we can serve and be in the bliss of the couple who is exchanging the highest love. And when we are part of this, then nothing material can touch us. A transcendentally sober person who, with faith and love, continuously hears from a realized soul about the activities of Lord Krishna in his rasa dance with the gopis or one who describes such activities can attain full transcendental devotional service at the lotus feet of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Thus, lusty material desires, which are the heart disease of all materialistic persons, are for him quickly and completely completely languished. We may remember here what the Supreme Personality of Godhead really means. We are not talking about God here. We are talking about the Supreme who is completely immersed with Radharani in the exchange in rasa. That is actually why he is supreme, because he is together with, with Mahabhav. And where Mahabhav and Rasa Vaisaha come together, there is Ananda. That's why in the Seva, Ananda is automatically there. Text 49 to 50. Ye shune ye pade tanra pala etatrishi. Se bhava vishta ye seva ahanishi. Tanra pale ki kahimu kahane na rai, kahane na yai, nitya sita se, raya sita tanra kai. If a transcendentally situated person following in the footsteps of Srila Rupa Goswami hears and speaks about the Rasa Lila dance of Krishna and is always absorbed in thoughts of Krishna while serving the Lord day and night within his mind. What shall I say about the result? It is so spiritually exalted that it cannot be expressed in words. Such a person is an eternally liberated associate of the Lord, and his body is completely spiritualized. Although he is visible to material eyes, he is spiritually situated and all his activities are spiritual. By the will of Krishna, such a devotee is understood to possess a spiritual body. Raga Nuga Marge Jani Rayera Bhajana Sita Deha Tulya Tate Prakrita Nahemana 
Srila Ramananda Roy is situated on the path of spontaneous love of Godhead. Therefore, he is in his spiritual body and his mind is not materially affected. Amiha Rayera Stane Shuni Krishna Kata Sunite Icha Hoy Yadi Puna Yahatata. I also hear topics about Krishna from Brahmananda Roy. If you want to hear such topics, go to him again. I think it's undescribable what wonderful information here is in, in, in these words and it describes the nature of Ramananda Roy so perfectly and it has a direct link to our goal, attaining our spiritual form and by that, get rid of all influence of the three modes of nature. Just concentrating the mind in these topics means all other things will fall away. So it's not to give up something the point is to go deep in this topic, more and more and more. Like Gurudev is actually now giving us as a present. He's giving us all kind of topics who lead to the same point. To our Manjari bath, to our real, natural, position as souls in the Seva or Radharani and thus serve the Lord perfectly because without Radharani's Seva no one can serve perfectly to Krishna. Not possible. Without Radha, no way. So come in the spiritual body means we just absorb in these topics and if we hear about Ramananda Roy, it's amazing, astonishing. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is giving this example because all these proud sannyasis and high-born brahmanas, they hear now that a Shudra is giving the highest example. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is playing these games. He likes this very much. He has really nice humor. <laughs> Sanatan Goswami was almost uh, a Muslim, right? And, all, and other examples we have. So socially, you may say, oh my God, what kind of persons are they? But they actually showed that it makes no difference from where you come. You may be born in a dog-eating family. By the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you can understand Rachendanandana. Even a foolish child can understand Rachendanandana. By the mercy of the Lord, everything is possible. Otherwise, how it could be that nowadays in Western countries, even 
the highest rasa is exchanged through the mercy of such souls who are following Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Only by them it's possible. And our Gurudev is the best example. Spreading the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Prabhupada was spreading the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, but the persons were not ready to really understand at that time. But now slowly, persons who performed sadhana bhakti in Vaidhi, slowly they are coming to Raga Bhakti and slowly they understand the real topic, the deepness. So this is the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and it's flooding the whole universe. By understanding what is the path of Rupa Raghunath, you may understand Chaitanya Charit Amrita, the real information or the real uh, message, the real message. Text 53. Muranama la iha teho partaila more tomara stane krishna kata suni bhare tare. You can take my name before him, saying, He has sent me to hear about Lord Krishna from you. Go hastily while he is in the assembly room. Hearing this, Pradumna Mishra immediately departed. Pradumna Mishra went to Ramananda Roy, who offered him respectful obeisances and said, Please order me. For what purpose have you come? Pradumna Mishra answered, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has sent me here to hear topics about Lord Krishna from you. Shuni Ramanandaroi Haila Premaveshe Kahitela Gila Kichu Manera Harishe. Hearing this, Ramanandaroi became absorbed in ecstatic love and began to speak with great transcendental pleasure. Prabhura Akyaya Krishna Kata Shunite Aila Eta Ihava I Mahabhakya Ami Pabo Kota. Following the instruction of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you have come to hear about Krishna. This is my great fortune. How else would I get such an opportunity? Eta kahitare lana nibritte vashila kikata shunite chaya misera puchila. Saying this, Sri Ramananda Roy took Pradumna Misha to a secluded place and inquired from him what kind of Krishna Kata, do you want to hear from me? Teno kahe ye kahila vityanagare se kata krame tumi kahiba amare. Pradyumna Mishra replied, 
kindly tell me about the same topics you spoke about at Vidyanagara. Anera kikata tumi prabhura upadeshta amita bhikshuka vipratumi mura poshta. You are the instructor even for Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Not to speak of others. I am but a beggar, Brahmana, and you are my maintainer. I do not know how to inquire, for I do not know what is good and what is bad. Seeing me to be a poor in knowledge, kindly speak whatever is good for me by your own good will. Tabe Ramananda Krame Kahita Lagila Krishna Kataras Amrita Sindhu Utalila. Thereupon, Ramananda Roy gradually began speaking on topics of Krishna. Thus, the ocean of the transcendental mellow of those topics became agitated. He began personally posing questions and then answering them with conclusive statements. When the afternoon came, the topic still did not end. The speaker and listeners spoke and heard in ecstatic love. Thus they forgot their bodily consciousness. How then could they perceive the end of the day? The servant informed them, the day has already ended. Then Ramananda Roy ended his discourses about Krishna. Ramananda Roy paid great respect to Pradumna Mishra and bade him farewell. Pradumna Mishra said, I have become very satisfied. He then began to dance. After returning home, Rajumna Mishra bathed and ate his meal. In the evening, he came to see the lotus feet of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Prabhura Charana Vande Ulla Sitamane Prabhuka Ke Krishna Kata Haila Shravane. In great happiness, he worshipped the lotus feet of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. The Lord inquired, Have you heard topics about Krishna? Mishra kahe prabhu more kritarte karila krishna kat amritarva krishna kat amtarv nave more nubaila. Pradumna Mishra said, My dear Lord, you have made me extremely obliged to you because you have drowned me in a nectarian ocean of talks about Krishna. Ramananda Roy Kata Kahile Nahoi Manusha Nahe Roy Krishna Bhakti Rasamai. I cannot properly describe the discourses of Ramananda Roy, for he is not an ordinary human being. He is fully absorbed in the devotional service of the Lord. Ara eka katarai kahila amare Krishna kata vakta karina jani amore. There is one other thing Ramananda Roy said to me. 
Do not consider me the speaker in these talks about Krishna. Mora muke kata kahena apane gora chandra yaiche kahaya daiche kahi yena vina yantra. Whatever I speak is personally spoken by Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Like a stringed instrument, I vibrate whatever he causes me to speak. Mora muke kahai kata kare parachara prithivite ke jane be e lila tanhara. In this way, the Lord speaks through my mouth to preach the cult of Krishna consciousness within the world who will understand this pastime of the Lord. Ye sapa shunilun krishna rasera sagara pramadi devera e sapa na hoi gochara. What I have heard from Ramananda Roy is like a nectarian ocean of discourses about Krishna. Even the demigods, beginning with Lord Brahma, can not understand all these topics. Hena rasa pana more karaila tumi janme janme tomara poi bakailana ami. My dear Lord, you have made me drink this transcendental nectar of Krishna Kata. Therefore, I am sold to your lotus feet, life after life. Prabhu Kahe, Ramananda, Vinayera Kani, Apanara Kata, Paramunde Dena Ani. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Ramananda Roy is a source of all humility. Therefore, he has attributed his own words to another intelligence. Mahanu Bhavera e Sahachasva Bhavoi Apanara Guna Nahi Apane Kahoi. This is a natural characteristic of those advanced in devotional service. They do not personally speak of their own good qualities. Ramananda Rayera Eka Hilo Gunalesha Pradumna Mishrere Yaiche Kaila Upadesha. I have described but a fraction of the transcendental attributes of Ramananda Roy as revealed when he instructed Prajumna Mishra. Although Ramananda Roy was a householder, he was not under the control of the six kinds of bodily change. Although apparently a pounds and shillings man, he advised even persons in the renounced order. E sabaguna tanra prakash karite mishrere Padaila Tahan Shravana Karite. To demonstrate the transcendental attributes of Ramananda Roy, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu sent Pradumna Mishra to hear discourses about Krishna from him. Bhakta Guna Prakashite Prabhu Bhala Jane Nana Bankite Guna Prakashini Chalabamane. The Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, 
knows very well how to demonstrate the qualities of his devotees. Therefore, acting like an artistic painter, he does so in various ways and considers this his personal profit. Ara ekka svabhav gorera shruna bhaktagan aishvarya svabhav gutakare prakatan. There is yet another characteristic of Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. O devotees, listen carefully to how he manifests his opulence and characteristics, although they are exceptionally deep. The opulence of love. Sanyasi pandit ganera karite garvanasha nicha sutra dvara karena dharmera prakash. To vanquish the false bright of so called renunciants and learned scholars, he spreads real religious principle, even though a shudra or low born fourth class man, uh, even true, a shudra or low born fourth class man. Bhakti Prema Tattva Kahe Rai Kari Vakta Apani Pradumna Mishra Saha Haya Shrota. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu preached about devotional service, ecstatic love, and the absolute truth by making Ramananda Roy, a Krihasta born in a low family, the speaker. Then Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself, the exalted Brahmana Sanyasi and Pradyumna Mishra, the purified Brahmana, both became the hearers of Ramananda Roy. In the purport, Srila Prabhupada writes, Srila Bhaktivinotaku says in his Amrita Bravahabhasya that sannyasis in the line of Shankaracharya always think that they have performed all the duties and brahmanas and that. Furthermore, having understood the essence of Vedanta Sutra and become Sanyasis, they are the natural spiritual masters of all society. Similarly, persons born in Brahmana families think that because they execute the ritualistic ceremonies recommended in the Vedas and follow the principles of Smriti, they alone can become spiritual masters of society. These highly exalted Brahmanas think that unless one is born in a Brahmana family, one cannot become a spiritual master and teach the absolute truth. To cut down the bride of these birthright Brahmanas, 
and Mayavad Sanyasis. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu proved that a person like Ramananda Rai, although born in Shudra family and situated in the Krihasta Ashram, can become the spiritual master of such exalted personalities as himself and Pradyumna Mishra. This is the principle of the Vaishnava cult as evinced in the teachings of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. A person who knows what is spiritual and what is material and who is firmly fixed in the spiritual position can be Jagat Guru, the spiritual master of the entire world. Text 86 Hari das Tvara Nama Mahatmya Prakash Sanatan Tvara Bhakti Siddhanta Vilas Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu exhibited the glories of the holy name of the Lord True Hari das Thakur, who was born in a Mohammedan family. Similarly, he exhibited the essence of devotional service through Sanatan Goswami, who had almost been converted into a Mohammedan. Sri Rupa Tvara Rajera Brema Rasalila Ke Bhujite Pare Kambira Chaitanyera Kela. The Lord also fully exhibited the ecstatic love and transcendental pastimes of Vrindavan through Srila Rupa Goswami. Considering all this, who can understand the deep plans of Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Sri Chaitanya Lila E Amritera Sindhu Drija Ghat Pasaite Pare Yara Eka Bindu The activities of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are just like an ocean of nectar. Even a drop of this ocean can inundate all the three worlds. Chaitanya Charit Amrita Nitya Karabhana Yaya Haite Premananda Bhakti Tattva Khyana O devotees, Relish daily the nectar of Sri Chaitanya Charit Amrita and the pastimes of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. For by doing so, one can merge in the transcendental bliss and full knowledge of devotional service. E Mata Mahaprabhu Bhakta Ghanalana Nila Chale Vihari Bhakti Pracharya. Thus Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, accompanied by his associates, his pure devotees, enjoyed transcendental bliss in Jagannath Puri Nila Chale preaching the bhakti cult in 
many ways. Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Ki Jai Ho. What an example. I was so moved when I read this the first time. I remember this is some years ago. Even at that time, I did not really understand the essence of this. But I was moved. And I don't know why, but Raman and the Roy I liked very much. Even though not understanding anything. It was 25 years ago or something like that when I read first time Chaitanya Charit Amrita. But I was always moved when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu met Raman and the Roy. So naturally, I was interested to understand why I was moved, actually. <laughs> and by the mercy of Gurudev, showing us the real understanding, now I hope that I got the point. At least it feels like that. So please, let us help together, let us pray at the feet of Gurudev, that we understand what is the real point of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's appearance, and what is the real mercy for us. Because if we cannot understand, we may not take. Time may go over and we did not get it. So if we can come in our Sita Deha, then we really understand. And this is a process. And this process is actually standing on a base. And this space is, as we heard now, to hear again and again and again and again these lilas. If we hear Chaitanya Chart Amrita, we will be caught. It will get us and bring us into the lilas by the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is no one else but Radharani. And to get the connection again, when we hear about Nityananda, then we can see that the mercy of our Radharani is so broad, so deep. She is actually going in so many forms to help us jivas to understand, to get the mercy. She is everywhere. Love is everywhere. Wherever we look, we can see Radha and her mercy. We can see her opulence because her opulence is everywhere. And if we just look deeply, we will find it. <coughs> so, I hope you liked it. Sorry, I, I was just reading the whole time because it's such a nectar, so maybe you have some questions or some commentaries, some further information or something, then please share. Radhe Radhe Guravani. Radhe Radhe. 
Rade, Rade, Dayanidi das. Hey, Dayanidi, how are you? Fine. <laughs> Better than ever. Uh, in the last one hour. Um, I really, I want to say you that uh, this hour, it was the best moment of my life. It's always like that. Uh, even in the before, uh, when I went with other devotees from Iskona, etc., no, I always like to read together Chaitanya Charitamrita. And somehow or another, I catch somebody, but it was very hard. And during the reading, maybe they will just sleep or something like that. So, for, but I was, was convinced that reading with, uh, with devotee was like, like us, no, in the same mood. By reading together Chaitanya Charitamrita, really heart can melt in incredible way. It's some, something really incredible. Something that I was searching always. I know it that um, just waiting that something will be revealed from Chaitanya Charitamrita. I know that there is some mystery which must be revealed. I didn't know which one, but I somehow or another I know that. So uh, this desire is fulfilled completely just here in this, in my life. So I'm very grateful to you and to Gurudev. Uh, I want to ask you um, if you can explain more, uh, because before we was all uh, uh, hearing Nityananda, like aspect of Guru, and now here is Ananga Manjari. Uh, maybe because uh, uh, we didn't hear enough Leela of Ananga Manjari, but I would like to understand more deeply and how is how is Nityananda is Ananga Manjari and how is connected with our Swarupa, with our uh, thinking in Radhadasya. Please, thank you. Jai Shirade. So, as we know, Nityananda and his wife together, they are Ananga Mandri. We can actually read that in our line because this is the beginning of our parampara. So, we may consider the different aspects. There are different shak Shakti aspects. So uh, Ananga Mantri on, only wants to serve, actually. She wants to serve Radha. And because she loves Radha so much, she can even serve Krishna. So that's why we do not follow her mood. Because as Mantri, this is not our mood. But actually, if we consider that a person wants to just serve in all aspects she can do, the love of Radharani and Krishna, the exchange, always be in Ananda, Nitya, Ananda, always be immersed, that's Nityananda. So actually, he is getting this aspect from his position as Ananga Mandri. But there are also other aspects in Nityananda because he also has to take care of the jivas and the things the jivas needs. So there are different wishes in one person. You always want to serve and be in the lila, completely deep, immersed. On the other side, in the same way, you serve the jivas and also want to connect them, bring them back home. Actually, it's not so easy to understand Nittai because Nittai is, is, has so many different aspects. He is uh, Mahavishnu. He is, for example, he is in our heart also. He is the guru, the Adi guru. He is 
a person which is so he he is combining so many uh, aspects that you should talk about Nitai not in just a few minutes. It's not possible to understand. But at least we, we may understand that as Ananga Manjuri, she wants to be the servant like we. We also want to be the servant. We want to be a Manjuri. But she is capable to do all, all kind of seva. We are limited, but she is not limited. So if you meditate on that, maybe you will get more of these uh, aspects. Actually, it's, it's really a, a question of uh, investing your time in this question. You cannot just answer it like that. You have to meditate on that, actually. You have to meditate if you would be in that position and you would like to serve how it could be. And by meditating, because your wish is there, the answers will pop up and you will get the mercy of Gurudev and go deeper. And maybe you get mercy from other persons who are more deep in this subject. But actually, it's a, a long meditation to really feel what kind of aspects are all in there and how they actually get together very smooth and very nicely and very lovely. It's undescribable merciful. We can feel this actually. The author here in Chaitanya Charit Amrita, he's so indebted. That's why chapter 5, I could not just over jump because I could feel that Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami is so much in, he feels so much indebted to, to Nitai also in these aspects. But if you read this chapter, you should consider the opulence is a love opulence, no other opulence. The opulence in this chapter is the love. This is the real opulence, actually, because all other things are not opulence, actually. But if we go in this meditation inside, we get the points. But it's a personal thing because, you know, we all have different kind of aspects in us. And uh, so it's a personal way we are going into this uh, realization. Because of the mercy of Gurudev, because we spoke about this person first time when we met, he was asking me, do you think that Balaram is taking part in the Leela? And I said, of course. This is his, his wish, his deep wish, how, how he could not. And he was so happy to hear this. And we were talking about this. So, But this is years ago. And still, I cannot say I, that, that I understood. It, it's a process. It's an ongoing process to understand who is Nita and who is Ananga Mandri and how they are combined, actually. But it's really, it's like a gem to meditate on that. And by understanding him more and more, we may understand Radharani's nature more and more, because Ananga Manjuri is Radharani. Not the same body, but the same mood. And Nitai has this mood also in him, the part of Ananga Manjuri, which he is together with his wife. So we may meditate on this 
aspects and they will, these persons, will reveal this to us step by step. And you may discuss with Gurudev furthermore, with time. Sorry, I, I'm limited, so what I can say about Nitai. Millions of mouths could not describe his glories. Ananta Shesh could not even get a hint. He, he could not give a hint with thousands of mouths. It's really unbelievable, merciful person who has so many aspects. But maybe somebody else may help here also. Please share. I also want to learn more about this. Beautiful question and beautiful answer. <laughs> I just remember that for me always I like to understand how Ananda Manjari is, uh, is checking us because Gurudev is stressing this point so often. He always says that Rupa Manjari is introducing us and of course, Guru Manjari is guiding us. And then Ananga Manjari is testing. Also yesterday, it was the subject, you remember, in the class. Because this Manjari in verse, uh, in the Radhara Sudhaniti, she was tested. She was tested two times. First by Krishna and then by Shimati Radhika. It was so much, it was so much fun <laughs> and so deep also. And Gurudev said this again yesterday, Ananga Manjari, this is her, it's her uh, duty, it's her job, this testing. So I remember uh, I was meditating on this while you are speaking, Goravani, and you are asking, Dayanidhi. And um, because Ananga Manjari has these two capacities, that she is a Manjari and she also can be a Naika. A lover of Krishna, when she Radhika has this desire, she can sense and feel directly if the jiva or the the aspiring dasi has any kind of enjoying tendency in in this uh, abhiman, because we ourselves, I am so covered that. Even I think, oh, I give everything to, to Radha Mohan and to Gurudev. Of course, nobody will think because Gurudev, uh, I mean, devotees always humble. But maybe the ego sometimes think, oh, what else? <laughs> and once I said to Gurudev, when is this checking going to stop? <laughs> because uh, I am a very naughty person. <laughs> whenever sometimes I come into Gurudev's cave and I notice his look, then he has this look, you know, of cutting the ego and cutting the, you know, the things that are not needed anymore. And I feel it and I say to Gurudev, when is this checking over? <laughs> and he, he was just looking at me and he said, that's a very good question. <laughs> so, I feel that uh, it's not the tendency uh, to enjoy only as a jiva, but especially when we are in the service of Radha Mohan, to really go deep and check the motivation and uh, be checked. So because Gurudev is stressing this, I... I wanted to mention this, and uh, that was my meditation, that Ananda Manjari, she's such a exalted personality, like you said, Gauravani, don't differentiate between Ananda Manjari and Radhika. She is Radhika who has come to help us 
to come back to her lotus feet. And therefore, she she's sending her Abhinasvarups. I have learned this word in the Sangha of Narayan Maharaj. It's only a Sanskrit word, but I like it because it describes the Guru Tattva. The Abhinasvarup is the smallest, smallest particles of herself. It's our Guru Devi, our Guru Dev. And these are actually all persons who are helping us also to become purest, to become most loving and sweet and unselfish and just, you know, like you described so nicely, this service attitude and not uh, this enjoying or calculating attitude. So this is just some experience I wanted to share with feeling and experiencing Ananga Mandri because she is everywhere and she is all pervading like Nityananda. But it depends on us, on our meditation, like you explained so nicely, Godavani. Where am I feeling myself? Am I more feeling myself now in my Saraka Deha? And then I pray for help. And if I want to approach the feelings of my Siddha Deha identity, you know, then I need the help of Ananga Mandri. I have to cry and beg and pray that please guide me there. And I want to serve under the lotus feet of my, my elder Dasis and my Guru Mandri. I like also give a practical example if you allow to me. What oh. I experienced the last days, I already spoke about is what I got, what is uh, Bhakti Siddhanta and uh, Prabhupada is uh, giving to us. And why they not gave this highest initiations. And uh, I, in this way, we can understand Nityananda and Ananga Manjari, they, are, they like to, to pick us here in this material world to bring in a different mood to Radha Moha us. And for example, Bhakti Siddhanta and Prabhupada, they are already acting in the mood of Nitai, giving knowledge like Guru Dev is doing. A traditional way is a guru is a teacher and they give uh, the knowledge to the disciples. This is what is Nityananda doing. And uh, when we, also Narayan Maharaj, in part, what I can feel, this is only my experience, what I feel inside. And uh, when we um, when we come in contact to our Gurudev, Sada Maharaj, then there is also Nityananda, but in the same, in the same moment, there is Ananga Manjari. He is actually both. He gives the knowledge and he gives the bath. So, and in this way, only on this way, we will get these steps from Nitai to Ananga. This is what I could feel now after realized what is doing especially Bhakti Siddhanta and Prabhupada and Narayan. For me, it is like what is Krishna this
Seems that some are cutted by internet connection. Yes. I really like this point actually, Rosunder is making here. We have one person who is always guiding us, but in different aspects. If we are more in with sadhaka consciousness, we have Nidai, and if we come more in Mandri consciousness, we have Ananga Mandri, and we have the bath, the feeling, which is very much needed to come to our Sita Deha without feelings, no way. So, as we could see instructions alone, the books of Prabhupada, as they are perfect, you cannot say they are not perfect. They are completely perfect because everything is inside, but we could not get the bath. We were just reading the lines, the black lines, but not the white. The white lines we could not get. Therefore, you need to understand or to feel the bath. And this is in one person for us. This is Nitai and the Nanga Mantri. And we are so lucky that our Gurudev, although he always stressing the point, I'm not the Ananga Mantri. Yes, not the original, but he is Ananga Mantri. And this is actually perfect because in this way, we are always connected with the bath and with the knowledge, which is also needed, the foundation. So, if we are more in Sadaka or we may grow more in our Sita Deha, everything is there for us. We are perfectly carried to our way back home. And this is just love. Love in different aspects. Like opulence in different aspects is described into Eternal Trade Amrita. But this is just love. It's the opulence of love. Love is here and love is there. There it's perfect. Here you have to understand. You have to distinguish because it's the world of two sides, right? Material always two sides. Here you have to distinguish, there it's just perfect. But it's love, here or there, it's love. It's just love. That's it. Perfect love. Guiding us, carrying us, always with us. We are swimming in it. From every side love is knocking. Wake up! Come home. Brother Rani is missing your seva. But we, drowsy in the material world, sleeping, dreaming about our bank account, house, wife, man, whatever. We not hear, we not see, we not feel. So let's just wake up and go deep in these topics again and again, hear Leela's again and again, go in the Rasa again and again. We can help each other and Gurudev was and is and will help us so much. So we are in the best position we could be. Although it seems that we are in the worst position we could be. That's also true. We are in Kali Yuga. But actually we are also in the best position we could be, because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was giving us everything. I mean, really everything. So we are the most 
lucky persons. If we just again and again dive in together with Gurudev, dive deep in the rasa, read Vilap Kuzumanjali, read Radha Rasa Sudanidi, read Chaitanya Charit Amrita, and just go in this meditation more and more. And then we will see us all together happily serving at Radha's lotus feet. Jai Shri Radha, thank you very much for investing your time together with us in Chaitanya Charit Amrita. Gurudev, thank you for your mercy. I cannot do you. Very nice. And now you are reading the fifth chapter is Nityananda Mahima. So it should be more expanded and give more time to everyone to share it. Because this is Antaranga Sakti and Bahiranga Sakti. And how is expanded? This is the very beautiful subject in the form of Nityananda Anangamandiri. You are right. All the opulence of love makes him to do everything. of this Shakti. You all say is a very beautiful subject. This is not easy to clear. The mercy will come, it will be very clear. And when this understanding is clear, all clear. Radhe, Radhe. Like you always said, when this is understood, everything is crystal clear. Okay. Now, today, Rai Ramananda is a Vishakha Sakhi. Why Mahaprabhu sent Radharani sent to Vishakha? Because she knows very closely how to serve Radha, because Visakha is always near to Radharani. And Radharani is always happy when more manjaris are happening, more dasis happening for the service she like that. And Vishakha is helping more and more creating in the service of Radha. And so Mahaprabhu sent to learn this. What is Krishna? Krishna Tattva. What is Krishna? Is only understanding come when we come to our constitutional position that we are soul and soul is a to move for our sarup radha dasi this all will clear by the mercy of anangamanji you are right this opulence of love is there radha dasi I agree with you. Thank you. Gurudev, thank you very much for your mercy. Jai Shri Radha. Go on. Till everyone not get chance to hear about Nityanand. Hmm? Anangamanjari, 
or the appearance of love. Everybody get chance. This is my request. Yeah. Radhe, Radhe. Radhe, Radhe, Gurudev. Thank you. 